What's up guys? We are here doing another reseller talk. Did I get it right? Reseller talk, right? In the truck. Reseller talk in the truck. And uh, I don't have a whole lot lined up for this one. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the state of clearance. Of course, everyone's heard about Macari. Everybody's pissing and moaning about Macari. They're gonna, they're gonna pay you two dollars and whatever, two dollars and fifty cents whenever I want to take out my money. That sounds crazy to me, right? Two dollars and fifty cents. Are you fucking shitting me? Are you fucking shitting me with this two dollars and fifty cents or whatever it is? I think it's two dollars and fifty cents. Two bucks. I know it's like two bucks and more, right? That sounds dumb as shit. They're really like making videos and complaining and like talking about. It. I don't even understand it. It's wild. Uh, we're driving. It doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't even make any sense. Uh, the seller fees people should be happy about. I mean, you're not paying seller fees anymore. What are you, what are you not happy about? How could you be pissed off about that? And then you're like, then they're going to take $2 from my, from my money. $2.50 every time I want to take out my money. What? There's transactional fees. I mean, that's what everyone is. I mean, you pay your electric bill with the credit card. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. It just costs money. I mean, it shouldn't cost as much money. It's bullshit fees. But what are you going to do about it? And to, like, pretend like 250 I mean, you, you're not paying seller fees anymore, which is 10, 10%, you know, 15%. So you're not paying those anymore, and then you're going to bitch? Don't get me started. I've already started. I mean, I've already started. I don't even know what, what are we at here. Two minutes. Jeez. Get worked up. Get worked up. Uh, what else? Mother's been shit. Did, uh, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine stores, something like that yesterday uh, in the rain. That was awesome. Um, Mother's still shit. Mother's going to be shit. It's supposed to snow. Obviously, I don't live in a tropical climate. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's going to snow and then be like 65 or something the next day. It's just nonsensical. It's just becoming, seriously, nonsensical. Um, got some bolos. We are coming up on the, I'm going to say it again. I don't know how many times I've said it, but i got to start pushing this. We are coming up on 500 subs, right? 500 subscribers. And I want to get this done so that I can start doing members only, right? If you guys want to start seeing what I see, we have to get to this point. Seeing what I see, which means UPCs, right? Um, I'll give you guys UPCs. I, I give you guys plenty of UPCs. We were at TJ Maxx, we were at Kohl's the other day. Um, it was uh, quite a bit in Kohl's that I couldn't show you because I'm not going to show you these things, right? Um, I'm going to do a members only so that, you know, X amount of people can see it. And not just anybody who stumbles on this stuff can see it. I think that's the way to do it. Um, I don't mind you guys seeing what I'm grabbing in stores, you know, because it's slightly after the fact. And just like, uh, just like when I was watching Richie Hustles back in the day before he's got his boss podcast. Uh, now, currently. Uh, Richie used to do that when he was in Mass, and I've said this before, and it would be about a week to two weeks, depending on how fast we, I would get them in my area. So, uh, those same kind of deals. And so I would have a heads up, like looking for these items, and that was beneficial. Um, same thing with a lot of you, I'm sure. Um, if you're smart and if you have, you know, uh, some ability, to hustle and grind, you can find the information that you need and, and get the solutions that, you, that you're looking for, which is making money doing this, uh, reselling uh, thing, RA, OA, I mean, you can look them up online too, you can see if your store has them. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit, I've been thinking back about some of these things, and I, I think a couple of people do these are still on this train of uh, Brick Seek. Um, I don't know what that's looking like these days. It used to be quite the deal. Brick Seek used to be the thing. Now, I don't know if it was just a whole combination of uh, a whole combination of 
like the the demic right the pando and like what was happening at the time or what like how that worked out but like you know being just the way i came about you know way the way i came into this i guess is what i should be saying the way i came into this uh reselling um you know was was at that time so to be able to to be able to you know, have everything come all culminate at the same time seemed kind of strange. It didn't seem strange at the time. It just seemed like, wow, um, surprising uh, that more people are doing this. Um, but maybe I was just very, very lucky. Um, it was a time with BrickSeek when they had, when they, you were able to get quantities pretty accurately, quantities, I mean, for the most part. I mean, you'd had busts and misses and things like that, but I mean, of course, nothing's 100%. But I mean, this was pretty accurate, like pretty spot on. Um, pretty spot on with the uh, inventory accuracies. And you could just look them up and you could just make lists. And I used to just make lists of, of uh, sales, you know, of, of deals that I would be looking for, you know, cause you could pre, you could look them up, find them, find the prices. Right, so you know that you're getting it for X amount of price. Then you were able to actually then do your research and find out, make sure this sells, and, and put them on a list, and and do all your due diligence before you even left and went to the store. Uh, that was that was good, and it wasn't like OA because the fucking profits were way higher, way higher, right? Three, four times profit, you know, the profit. Um, so you know, two hundred percent, three hundred percent. Um, ROIs, right? So, um, yeah, it was really, really crazy. And I know BrickSeek's still going, and I know that they've been throwing up a shit ton of ads, and I know that they were trying to push there towards the tail end of it um, for, um, this person got a flat tire. This person had a flat tire and, like, their hood up, and something smashed up in their hood. It was wild. Sorry, uh, uh, the shit you see while you're driving. They just like pulled out nonchalantly. Um, so yeah, so that was a great so that was a great time. Um, so that was a great time. Um, I don't I don't necessarily um, think it's like that anymore, but. I know that BrickSeek is still around, and I know they like have a shit ton of ads on their on their stuff now. But I don't know if they're actually like deals. If they're actually deals on that, I might check it out for a month or something just to see. Um, it was it was great uh, back in the day. You could search all kinds of stores. I mean, there was you know Office Max, you know Home Depot. You know we were able to search a lot of stores. Um, lows, um, and so you'd make your money, you know, a hundredfold uh, from the monthly subscription. So it was absolutely worth it. And then what happened was, and I don't know if they still, if if it was only Walmart, but Walmart pulled their, oh, what was it? They pulled their inventory gateway or whatever the fuck it was. Uh, so that Brixie could see the inventory that they had. I, I would assume it was like, you know, some kind of some kind of scrub of their website which would show, you know, fucking inventories. Um, but they got rid of that shit. Pretty close to the launch of their um, pretty pretty close to the launch of their own uh, seller site. Walmart's own seller site. So that was that, and that you know was was a bummer. Uh, took a lot of fucking resellers out. Amazon at the same time, at the same time, Amazon started ticking motherfuckers off left and right uh, for just you know IPs and fucking counterfeits, and it was just a whole free for all on on resellers. They were there was a shit ton of drop shippers at the time too, but it was like everybody kind of started getting fucking lumped in. Then they started getting booted. Um, 
Amazon lost a shit ton of sellers and they lost a shit ton of, of, uh, of uh, revenue uh, from it. Private sellers make up 70% of Amazon's business. 70% um, of all retail sales. So 70% are sold by private sellers like, like us, like resellers, white label, you know, this is OARA, this is the whole, whole lot. 70%. Um, and so you start, you know, booting them off by the thousands, which is what was happening. And uh, yeah, so the shit hit the fan there for a minute. And that was about a year and a half ago. So maybe, maybe two years, maybe a year and a half, eh, roughly. Don't hold me to that shit, right? Uh, I'll give you relative times, <laughs> relative. Uh, um, so anyway, uh, what am I saying here? I am saying I'm a little bit lost. No, I'm not lost. Right. I don't want to know. <laughs> I thought I was lost for a second. Just driving, just driving and talking, man. Just driving and talking. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we got some new stores coming up. Um, we've got a, uh, We've got a, what do we got? Uh, let's see, Lowe's, we've got a TJ Maxx, we've got a Kohl's, we've got a, oh, what else did I go to? Uh, Lowe's, TJ Maxx, Kohl's, um, a couple of Walmarts, <laughs> Walmarts, Walmarts, you want to go to the Walmarts with me? Um, a couple of those, a couple of Meyer. Myers. Uh, so yeah, we got a couple of those. And uh, so that's that. Also, notifications. Please, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to hit the watch hours. Even if we get 500 subs, we're going to be able to get the watch hours. Um, I started dropping more of the monthly uh, recaps. So if you guys could watch those, that would be great. Um, yeah, um, those will give you, you know, you can just pop them on, do a shipment, you know, be in the background, whatever. Uh, that's what I used to do. Like I said, I said before, that's what I used to do, um, with other resellers and I still do. So anything else crazy? Fucking Amazon, Amazon, uh, fees, of course, um, it's, it's getting, uh, I, I did a large shipment again. Uh, well, I don't know if oh, I'm saying again, but I did a large shipment uh, recently. I don't know, 800 and something units. And uh, it doesn't matter. So my settings are changed. Um, I think they want more case packing. I think they want us to case pack. Um, so I'm going to try that on a couple of things. I mean, I don't know. Uh, it's like, I guess it broke down to about, oh, what was it? 23 cents an item. So, and that's nothing, you know what I mean? But the placement, you know, the placement is, it's a, it was 150 bucks, 160 bucks. I don't know if I talked about this before, but it was, you know, it's getting, it's going to be silly. So, it's getting to be silly. So I was not happy about that at all. Not happy at all. Uh, at all, at all. Um, and I, I was not happy at all. And uh, I'm definitely going to the wrong spot. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, I got the focus here. All right, talk to you later, boy. This thing's got a wicked pull to the right.